hello my people how are you doing today we will be having another video where we'll be discussing about how to avoid conflicts in life you know conflicts they happen whether we like it or not <laughs> they happen whether we like it or not so how can we avoid um and what on top of my mind is uh to remember that conflicts are not enjoyable <laughs> Yeah, this is where by people define opinion, people define their actions, people define how they are looking at things. And it can only be maybe just two people. But how I look at conflict, it can be just any other person other than yourself. So how can we avoid conflicts? When I'm doing this video, I'm thinking about situations whereby uh, you are not able to be in control. And there are some situations sometimes it is not even a place you can be able to walk out of. Let's assume, for example, it is uh, in a family. You have a brother, you have a sister that you normally see things from a different uh, perspective. How do you avoid the conflict? Because it is not about the situation that is there, but it's how you come to, uh, to resolve the issue at hand. So in my thinking, how to avoid conflict is by, by first understanding what it is and what triggers it and how it happens. You could be having maybe a, a friend, a friend who every time you discuss matters concerning certain um, maybe topics in life, that is when you differ, when you discuss about finances, in agreement, and you can be able to carry your discussion and dialogue peacefully. This same friend, when you discuss about education and academics, you can be able to uh, discuss it in a very nice way without any uh, difference in it. When you discuss about maybe families and family ways and uh, socializing, you can be able to be seeing it from the same perspective. Maybe this friend, when you discuss about spiritual matters, you see it from different angles. This is whereby you have uh, some arguments which can bring some conflicts. So how do we avoid such? From my perspective, I am going to bring this discussion, but I want to welcome you to join me in this discussion. And uh, you're welcome also to uh, comment, make your comments so that we can be able to hear also what you have, how to avoid conflicts in life. These are areas that, as I'm saying, you cannot be able to avoid. Have you been in this channel there before and been um, a subscriber? If not, kindly subscribe and get to know us and uh, turn on your notifications so that you can be receiving our video. Uh, if you find it valuable, please uh, share it with your friends so that they can also understand what you are discussing in our videos and also visit our channel, Karaoke Moments, to see other videos. And Karaoke Moments is about life conversation whereby we discuss matters and we have a tagline that life is a journey, you walk in it. So as I was introducing and saying, sometimes you can be having a friend that you are agreeing in so many other areas. So the only area maybe you are differing is one. And I say it, you can be agreeing in academic, in social life, in maybe finances and how to invest and how to uh, build your life financially. But when maybe you come to spiritually, eh, that is an area that you could be differing or any other area in life. So how do you avoid these arguments and the conflicts? In my thinking, it's fast to know. You are the only unique person to yourself. You're the only one who can be able to sustain the thoughts that you have without differing. Because most of the time, we what the differences comes in is because you want to change the other person to see things from your perspective. You want them to think like you. <laughs> you want them to decide, make same decisions like you. You want them to go an extra mile just like you. Everything that you're doing, you want the other person to do. So the first step that I think about is to acknowledge that you are the only unique person to yourself. Any other person you deal with, even if be it your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your husband, your wife, any other relationships other than yourself, you're bound to see things most probably very differently. It is not because the person hates you. It is not because the person does not want to see things from your perspective, but it's just because they 
also see from their point of view that is the correct way of doing things and saying things and it becomes very conflicting let me give a scenario so you're discussing with a friend or a relative or maybe a colleague at workplace you put a uh, water in a glass and you put it halfway <laughs> so when you put that water halfway so i want us to join this discussion and tell me uh what do you think how are you able to look at it and say the same okay i choose to look at that glass as half half uh, a glass that is half full of water okay and then maybe i'm having a colleague or a friend or maybe a spouse or maybe a brother or sister who is saying the glass is half empty and you'll try to be convincing each other and i will be saying and insisting this glass is half full of water and the person will be saying this glass is half empty of water do you know from that perspective every one of us is right it's only that our perspectives and the way we look at life we are most probably looking at it from our world view from how we look at things and most of the time if you are a very positive person you most probably will be saying the glass is half full meaning the person has only drunk maybe water halfway and they are yet to finish what is there meaning the glass was full of water now it is half full of water the other person maybe depending on your worldview maybe they are pessimistic maybe they are not very motivated they are looking at it as half empty they are forgetting it was full all that they are doing is to keep on reducing that now it is half empty with this perspective in our mind so what i'm saying is once you know that uh, whatever that can bring these differences is because of how you look at things and the world view you don't need even to keep on shouting and arguing what you need to do is accept that we are not the same and we will not see this glass with half water whether it is half full or half empty instead you accept and acknowledge so in some of these arguments and conflicts accept that this person is their world view not because they hate you not because they want arguments likewise they could be seeing you also as someone who is very argumentative and someone who is hard to convince so when you accept that you become emotionally intelligent such that you will not even be arguing to convince the other person instead you'll be looking at it to discuss to accept where each and every person is at so when you look at this perspective from that angle when for example, you're at your workplace, you have this colleague who sees things differently. And I'm going to share a story by there on that. I used to have a colleague who, when she sits li like on a round table in the office, her chair, she used to leave it always pulled out. <laughs> I'm the kind that when I sit on a table and I wake up, I want to push my chair towards the table. I feel like I've created enough space and I've created space that people have a uh, space to pass through because the corridors I'll have made them uh, look neat and the office looks neat and everything. My friend and colleague <laughs> has, when she wakes up, when she finishes sitting, maybe it's after break and we're just going back to work or something. She just raises up and goes and the chair will be all over, will not be pushed towards the table. So one day, because most of the time I used just to push it for her, so one day I asked her, ah, so and so, have you ever realized that um, every time we wake up from our break or every time you're doing something in the office, you leave your chair outside, like almost <laughs> in the middle of the room. I asked her whether she, uh, she notices it. And you know, to my amazement, she said she's never noticed. <laughs> we sat down, we just started talking about it and saying the importance of the office looks neat. And if someone is walking along the small space, they will not stumble. It reduces accident. And uh, definitely the office looks organized. And do you know from that day, I would see her reminding herself every time when she's up to push the chair towards the table. What I'm saying, it sounds like a very, um, not very essential example, but for this topic it is. You know why? Because some of these things, the person even who is irritating you, making you get into argument and conflict, sometimes they are not even aware. <laughs> In their worldview, they are okay. That is how they do things and they are okay. And they even find you fussy. So that is why if you want correction 
of uh, a conflict of over an argument one thing is you need to remember the person is not in your worldview the person is not seeing things the way you're seeing so even by the time you're correcting them you need to be careful because shouting at them or calling them names will only aggravate the issue so you need to help the person see from your worldview why you're saying that chair needs to be pushed towards the table and once they learn they come into your world they come into where you are most probably they'll be able to to do that okay if it's for example they have glass half empty another lesson we can draw from there is some things doesn't matter in life you don't need to argue if someone thinks that glass is half full of water or half empty of water the glass have water in it and it's halfway <laughs> so some things in life even as a couple or even as siblings even as friends ask god to help you to to know the difference some things you don't even need to argue you don't even need to justify yourself while you're saying what you're saying or you're thinking the way you're saying you don't need to if they think they want to do things the way they want to, it's not causing any accident. It's not affecting anybody. Nobody is going to be sick. No monies will be overspent. It is okay. You don't need to argue. You don't need to have a conflict. Take it easy. Let the person do their own way and you do your own way. Half a glass empty, half a glass empty of water or half a glass full of water is the same. The glass has half water. Have, it, it has have space of water, whether it's empty or full, the way you want to look at it, okay? So as I said, someone can maybe not be in their worldview even aware that whatever they're doing is irritating you. Learn negotiation skills. Ask the person, do you even know you normally annoy me every time you shout at me or every time you tell me uh, that um, I'm not good enough, be it maybe like in a relationship or as a colleague every time they snap at you or do something you'll find maybe that is their tone or that is their culture or that is the way they do the things once they get to know what you mean they it will improve and they'll be better number two some things you can ignore you don't need just to keep on arguing over everything some things you just ignore and assume ah this one is not affecting anybody you know if it's not affecting anybody that is okay because we have some people who every small thing that comes up, they want to really argue. All right. Sometimes in life, there are some things that might, might be very costly. Maybe it's a parent who is trying to uh, reprimand or discipline the children. Sometimes it needs giving the whole scenario, including the consequences. For example, if your child does not want to have extra uh, tuition on a subject they are failing, Give them the consequences. Tell them this math is, a, is an important subject or this language like English is an important subject, including when you go to university, you need to pass. If you do not want to have efforts, most probably you will not pass your exams and you will not go to university. So you see, you are giving them consequences. So if it's, for example, you are uh, maybe your wife or your husband, just let them know. Tell them this uh, of values of money or lack of budget of your money, or drinking, or using family finances is going to drive us into debt and you're going to uh, struggle financially if you don't do this. And sometimes it just, that uh, nat that kind of a nurturing way like a mother or kind of a tone that is used can wake up someone from slumber and be able to help them see, oh, by the way, what I'm doing now, it is too much. And I know there are even sometimes where these conflicts bring a lot of heartache, Sometimes if you can't just be able to tolerate it, it can even bring some um, stressful conditions. You find out people, if for example, it's a relationship and this relationship, husband and wife are always having conflict. It might make them now, maybe one of them even have stress diseases like ulcers, like hypertension. And finally, it can even make people just say, you know what, enough is enough. I would rather just quit this relationship. I would rather just quit this marriage. And just from a simple thing, seen simple, but it means a lot how to resolve conflicts. We need to avoid conflicts if we can. The, and nobody is a superstar. Anybody can get into conflicts. But I think what is important is how to resolve. Sometimes conflicts also happen between siblings, brothers and sisters, whereby you find when it happens, uh, sometimes people are not even a uh, very good relationship uh affected and they will be in trouble and they will not be able to amend and you know what relationships can be very uh, fragile 
and uh, it's like uh, an iron bar once an iron bar is bended no matter the blacksmith you take it to it will never be the same again it will always have a dent it will always have a bend so how about avoiding then in advance because i think the more we avoid the more we are intelligent emotionally the more we can be able to avoid what are your thoughts about this topic tell me how can we be able to avoid conflicts in life is it doable is it a good thing just make your comments let us know uh, at karaoke moments what you think if you have not subscribed please subscribe in this channel if you find it uh, beneficial please share with other people uh, continue uh, making it be known turn on your notifications and let us connect here yeah, remember here at karaoke uh, moments we say life is a journey walk in it till we see you next time thank you very much bye for now